the I'll get to it in a couple of days pile at the moment. Oh my god! I yeah. just I don't know. No, well, I've been at Pimpama all week, so it's not everything, you know. It's yeah. as usual, like binge, whatever, binge, whatever, <laughs> and singing. They're the only two things I've managed to do. Hey, where'd you go? There we go. I'm here. Jesus, she was hiding from us. Sorry. Well, I couldn't see. Something and happened. I'm really enjoying writing songs. I'm just like writing songs like a maniac. Yeah, great. Which is really exciting. And we went and played with the saxophone player the other night, and that was really good. So we've got band practice tomorrow. Yeah. It's up at Redcliffe, so it's like lots of driving. Yeah. Mm. Is that where mm. the saxophonist lives in Redcliffe? No, well, it's where the drummer and someone else lives. So it just feels a bit, oh, you know, it's just interesting. Life's just interesting. Yeah, yeah. As usual. Yeah. Uh, that's good. But uh, uh, Michelle, you know, art and zine things on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. She excited. Uh, she's stressed to the whatever and yeah. uh, probably excited but you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was supposed to, like me and Michael and John were supposed to be kind of I'm emceeing and the trio of duos were supposed to be playing so me and Michael, me and John, John and Michael kind of thing. Yeah. But um, I think Michael's out for it so that'll be interesting. So what instrument, how is he? Uh, he's just kind of integral to holding us together. To, like me and John have never done anything on our own together. Yeah. And also I've never emceed with John around. Like it's just a whole kind of yeah strange thing. And me and John are quite, well, you know what I'm like anyway, but, you know, yeah, who knows? Who knows what the equation is? So is Michael the guy that I met out the front of the house? You know how John was there and Michael was the other guy? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He is the other guy. I like he's, him. He's the person that I've performed the most with, you know, like yeah. I've kind of done most of the freestyling spoken word with that I've done heaps of stuff with. Yeah. And me and John have played with him a lot. Just you know, messing around, and we've done a couple of house concerts with him. So you know, none of us together have had lots of experience, sort of thing. Yeah, so it'll just be it'll be fun. It'll be what it'll be, and it'll be interesting. Yeah. Mm. Is Michelle expecting something in particular? Like, is there? A... No, no. She's no. just happy if the space gets filled and it's a laugh and a half, or you know, yeah. like whatever. It's a good time for people. She just wants people to be entertained. Yeah. So is there kind of room to take another instrument and let volunteers from the crowd oh, be yeah, part yeah. of it? A... There's there's room for anything to happen. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And we're good at that. I mean, me and John are quite good at that. Being able to bring other people in is probably both of our speciality. Yeah. So we'll see what happens, see who's there, see what happens. Does it have to be on the stage? Can you be in the middle of the room on the floor? As oh, part I can't imagine the there'll be a stage. This is at the Dust Temple. That's part of the issue, the part of the ongoing thing is, you know, just Michelle feeling like they're not supporting her to have it there, you know, like. Well, I just wonder if having, because sometimes it's nice to have, like, the musicians in the middle. Yeah. And not kind of put them on a different physical level. And then yeah. if, if it is participate, because then people can Club and dance and whatever, and they're, I don't know. I'm not, yeah, I'm just saying sometimes that's nice, especially if you don't know, like if there's not a set yes, to present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's usually pretty informal, but, yeah, it's interesting when you say that because it is to go, well, let's make it really informal. Like. Mm. Mm. And then it's mm. more like ceremony, then it's more like ritual, then it's more like a celebration, like you are at a party and everybody's... Yeah. Kind of part of it because even in a party there's someone who's leading and hosting and doing all that stuff. Yeah. Entertaining. 
Yeah. You've always yeah. got the entertainer at the party. Well, yes, I am. But you both are, yeah? Do you feel like you both are? Um, well, that's just the thing. I feel like we're both, we both are, but we don't know. We haven't quite worked out the balance in that yet either. Yeah. Like I'm used to being in control. Yeah. And I'm used to being able to just pull people in and push them out when I'm finished sort yeah. of thing. And I know that sounds terrible, but it is like how I operate there. Like, yeah. And I'm really good at bringing the people in and then going, thank you very much, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> and then not kind of neglecting them, not neglecting them, but, yeah. you know, on to the next thing. And with John, that's quite volatile at the moment. Yeah. Or just, you know, it's quite raw for both of us to be in public and to have each other's reactions and to just let them be what they are and yeah, all yeah. that stuff. So yes. I, it just feels a little bit like that. It's yeah. dangerous in that sense. Yeah, great. When we're trying to establish how we go on sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but every day's like that, so, you know, shouldn't make it significant. <laughs> Yeah, but it is. It does feel special when you're at an event, you know, because there are there is all of that other structural framework going on at the same time. Whether you're consciously allowing that to be part of your experience or not, it's still mm. relevant. Mm. But the other thing about it, I mean, the other thing is, is that we are being forced into that situation, and. Um, the other thing that's like flashing lights like a crazy thing for me at the moment is my sister sent me a thing saying, hey, the Kate Bush, let's get as many Kate Bushes in the Botanic Gardens to do Wuthering Heights is on in Adelaide near your birthday. Why don't you come Yeah, and do that with us for your birthday, for your 50th birthday? That would be a great way to celebrate your birthday with thousands of Kate Bushes around the world. Yeah. <laughs> And so then I'm like, well, I still want to go to Justin's. I still want to do my Victoria trip. Why don't me and John do a series of house concerts for my 50th birthday, like travel Fabulous. around to all my friends' houses and do house concerts. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of like sitting right there like a giant bubble, you know, and it is around touring miracles and wonder. It is around, you know, a whole range of things, like going and seeing all my friends and but practicing really, not practicing, but you know, getting getting some kind of structure to that. All the ideas I have about that promoting miracles and wonder through a little show that has a an, a story arc through it. Can I can I throw something in? Yeah, yeah. I have a heap of those story beams. Do oh, you yeah. want to plant one at every house concert that you go to, and that can be part of the thread that goes in the I hope, I hope we stay online but that's a brilliant idea but check this out <laughs> yeah. I hope we stay online and you should see the one at Pimpama oh my god man maybe those beans do take over the world hang on the back fence can you still see me yeah I can still see you oh There's wow it. it looks beautiful so the story beans are going off, people. <laughs> there should be enough for every house in the world, Sue. Yeah, well, I've got a heap of them. I mean, you know, a handful, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Oh, no, and Moo at Pimper Marsh, she's got like a bucket full. Wow. Select a bucket full from her. She's got a bucket full from one plant. Well, because I was just thinking, if you're doing the house concerts, I mean, that in itself kind of ties everything together though but if there's a story that you want to do that kind of um I don't know wraps it up with a little bow mm. there's something about planting you know for you Please because do. you're very much about planting the seed yeah. and pollinating artistry and all of that stuff so planting yeah, yeah. a storyteller bean at every house concert even if it's in a pot if they don't have a garden yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know, and kind of filming that ritual and and letting them have their story about what that is and do they have one story they'd like to share and, you know, what it, whatever your feeling mm. is in the time. Yeah. You know, and, and all of that um, kind of just filming on the devices that you have. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's. And it can just go straight to YouTube or whatever until you figure out anywhere else that you want to. Yeah. Because yeah. even then, like if just keeping it, hosting it on YouTube and then having 
the you know the blog series on a website or yeah. you know on Tumblr or whatever, it can still be embedded or have a link to those videos. So you never have to kind of repost, you know, re-upload or whatever. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. So that's July. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it looks like when I add up all the places I want to go. Yeah. All the people I want to see. Yeah. It's kind of like at least a month or maybe a month and a half. So would you go before your birthday or yeah. Yeah, I would go before my birthday and then kind of try and find like So the beginning of July? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. July. But so the like, beginning of July cuz yours is the 21st. So Yeah, like I think it's like the 12th, <laughs> the 12th because I think the Cape Bush thing's the 17th or something like that. Yeah. And so then it'll be a, a couple of places on the way to Broken Hill. A couple of different things in Broken Hill, like Menindee, Broken Hill, and then there's a couple of different places like Mario's Palace and the um, Art Exchange that would host something, you know? Yeah. And then Adelaide, like there's, you know, quite a few different groups of friends that I know would probably host a house concert for me, you know? like Yeah. And then Victoria, there's like about seven or eight stops in Victoria. And then Michael... Um, was saying he would happily meet us in Melbourne yep. and do the last part so that then we could do his um, Newcastle networks and Tamworth networks. Yeah. So, you know, it feels very substantial, like, and it feels very much like there would be lots of possibilities for new people to meet me and stuff that we do and and even, like, with Michael, it's funny, we've got some, like, crossover friends in Melbourne and probably Newcastle as well. So yeah, it just feels like substantiating things or something. And so how many in Broken Hill? Maybe three. And in Adelaide? Maybe four or five. And then Newcastle, Tamworth, about another yeah. three? I don't know, at least. But, like, in Victoria itself, there's six other places with people that are really significant to me that I want, you know, and they live in little random towns, you know, like yeah, Ross yeah. out of Cornwall, my other friends out at Little Jenta, at Uren Quinty, at Wagga Wagga, at, um, you know, like yeah. all kind of quirky little arty little interesting little places. So that just feels really kind of like pollinating, you know, like it really does feel yeah. like. And even the thing of it's my 50th birthday, like it's it's another reason for people to come, you know, like it's another kind of, I don't know, you know, it's back the front but it's really good. <laughs> uh, mm. and, and, I mean, the other thing is just having that time to percolate all those ideas for the show. Yeah. I mean, it's just, a, you know, a, a splat of time doing it repeatedly to refine the concept, whatever the whatever the Miracles of Wonder storyline is in there, to be, like, constantly promoting it over 30 days in that way. Like, it just feels like it, it's, you know, it, you know, it's what me and Min have done with the school program, you know, just go in there, go in there, have experiences, let things download, let them percolate into the format and structure. Yeah. Let the story form itself sort of thing. Yeah. So that feels really good, you know, like, and just, you know, the whole thing of being able to do more poems and travel around with John and da-da-da, it just feels very exciting for both of us. I um, I just got a little sowing the seeds of story. And mm. I, guess, I guess what I'm just, the only reason I'm thinking about that is to be able to kind of create um, beautiful artwork that, you know, that goes in. Because there's Facebook events that can yeah. be put on your website or whatever and, you know, just having that beautiful banner with a very simple title, even, like you say, the experience generates itself. Yes. You know, yes. just having that catchphrase, um and then allowing each event to be to put on there so there's a map it just makes it you know one of the easy ways to let oh, people yeah. know that it's and happening that, 
I remember you, it was you who said, no, it wasn't you who sent me that thing. But I, I think I sent it to you, you know, that woman's journey and she had it all mapped out on, I think it was Google Plus. You know, when the photos popped Oh, up, the yeah. photos, yeah. You know, we never figured out how that worked. Yeah. Well, that's very cool. Like, that would be, you know, that would be a fabulous way also to format it so you can see the kind of the breadth of the journey, if you like. You mean afterwards? No, I mean during. Yeah. Like, because if it's got, you know, if, it, if you're in the last place and you've got the whole map up, but, you know, it's, if you can... Have the whole map up and it's blank, you know, so you can add things in as you go. But then, if someone's in, say, Broken Hill, you know, and they see it and they can pass it on to a friend in Adelaide where the next thing is, you yeah, know, yeah, that could be very cool. That could be very cool. I don't know, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I could never figure out what it is that she'd done. Ooh. Well, I'll talk to her. Anyway, I'll talk to Robin and get back in touch with her because she also lives, I think she still lives in one of the really fabulous eco-villages in the middle of the city in Adelaide. Yeah. Which is another fabulous, you know, perfect for us people, you know, living on the edge of the new frontier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, for me, they are very much miracles and wonder people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so that's exciting. Mm. And, you know, maybe that's even something for me to think about as well, like targeting communities, you know, targeting those alternative communities. Like yeah, yeah. Where there's already a huddle of people trying new things. Mm. And just kind of through word of mouth, and sending them to the home page. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think, you know, over, over the time between now and then, it would be good to have some specific either webinars or, um, oh, you got Apple on your face. I just spattered Apple all over me. <laughs> um, you know, specific podcasts. Yeah. I know, you know, related to, I don't know what, you know, storytelling seeds, living in community, I don't know, whatever, creating the new utopia, whatever it is, but, you know, those kind of things that I'm on. Hang on, I can't write that fast. Creating the new utopia. What was the other one? Well, just as, you know, some very, you know, I can even see like a series around therapeutic storytelling. Uh, you know, so coming from quite, you know, three or four different angles around storytelling. Yeah. Was there another one? You said three, yeah? Um, yeah, I said something else, what I say? Um, oh, it was, it was our community. You know, building community. Even um, you know, me and John have been talking a bit about you know what's the difference between intimate personal relationships and the kind of relationship you have in heart alchemy. Yeah. I mean, you know, that sense of people expect relationships to look a particular way. Yeah. I'm just and then it down. and then this is very, it's impersonal and yet you manage to be right on key with love, you know, like it's right. Yeah. I can't explain it, but, you know, there's a whole conversation there about that. 